Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm live. Um, I know I didn't send out a formal announcement that we are live today, but we are about an hour or two earlier than normal because um, we're doing dinner later on tonight. So that's why we're going live at this time. So Angie is currently getting ready, getting dressed. So I thought I would just start this off. How is everyone doing today so far on this glorious Friday? Hello, Sammy. Hello, thank you, really. Thank you for joining. How is everyone today? Hi, Anita. Thank you for joining. Yes, um, Anita. I don't know if you knew, but um, normally Angie and I would go live on our YouTube channel every Sunday at like four o'clock in the evening, four or five in the evening. But um, last time we went live on YouTube, our, our stream was shut down by YouTube because we were talking about the virus. And I guess there's certain things on YouTube right now relating to the virus that we can't say. So we decided to start our doing our lives on Instagram just until things die down. Hello, Haley. Hi, Nick. Thank you all for watching and joining. This seems like a better time for people. More people are online. So thank you. Um, but yes, I do miss doing our lives on, on YouTube just because we had a really big turnout on there normally. We had like probably 30 to 50 viewers, you know, between the time we started and the time we ended. And on, on Instagram, we only have, you know, a handful of people. Which is fine. I'm grateful that we have any viewers at all. But, you know, I just miss our normal YouTube lives. But this works for the time being. So, thank you all for joining. I hope you all are enjoying your Friday, the 20... What's the date? The 20... 22nd. So that means I've been 35 for three months. Congrats on your three month <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> three month birthday. Hi everybody, I'm uh, here, I'm queer, get used to it. <laughs> did you know that's how Katie did one of her lives the no, other day? No, she didn't. She said, I'm here, I'm queer. Katie. She did. You can't say that Katie if you're not rude. That is so rude. Maybe she is deep down. I hate it when girls be like, I'm queer. Oh, I'm bi. I'm a lesbian. And they're like totally straight. It's like, stop it. Stop. Hi, Christy. Hey, Christy. Thank you for watching our live. And Anita is here too. Hey, Anita, what's up? I'm feisty today, you guys. What does that mean? I don't even know. So I was explaining to Anita and our new viewers... Well, um, that we used to go live on YouTube on yes. Sundays. But we're taking a break from that method. Yeah, because I feel like we always have a poor connection. Like, it's either due to a poor connection or someone is being a troll and reports us for being inappropriate or we accidentally said COVID on one of our lives and we got shut down for that. And Nick says, why do you say hate so much, Angie? Hate? I never... <laughs> hate, hate, hate. I don't know. What what did I say hate in? Yeah, when did she say hate? 
I probably did. I'm not denying it. I'm just like, what? What are you referring to? <laughs> so I'll let you start off, honey, by if you're ready. Um, I need to pull something up here real quick. Okay. So, our um, I've just been introduced to a new app called Marco Polo. No, it's not the swimming pool game. It's an app. It's a social app, messaging video app. And I thought it was, I think it's pretty cool. You know, for someone like me who doesn't really like live um, phone conversating, I get a little anxious with it because I feel like I won't have enough to add to the conversation. But with with, uh, Marco Polo, you can respond at your own time. You don't have to video chat live. You can still send videos back and forth, but you can do it on your time and in your own, you know, way, which I think is fun. So, hi, Trisha. Hey, Trisha, what's up? So, if you guys are on Marco Polo, let me know and I will add you. Nick says, I hate when people say that queer when... They're not. They're not. I did say hate, huh? Well, I mean, if that offends you, I apologize. Maybe I should say... Dislike? It disappoints me when people, like, shout to the rooftops that they're queer when they're not. I mean, it's okay to be an ally, But to be like, to, you know, flaunt it around like it's a big, like, joke, like it's not a serious thing, that's kind of rude, you know? Like when you go to a a bar for straight people and some drunk chick is pretending to be gay and she's making out with other chicks just to impress a guy. And then she's like, oh, I'm LTE. Just pause due to poor connection. That always happens when I'm talking. Just no. Kidding. Just, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if that offends you, if I say that. I mean, it's just a quicker way of saying I'm disappointed when or I dislike when. But really, if you knew Angie, she is the least hateful person on the planet. She... She has a lot of love and compassion for for people and animals. More more animals than people, but but she's not a hateful person. I'm not. At I'm, all. I'm like super not. So I do get angry because compassionate people tend to um it's easy for us to be disappointed <laughs> by things. Um, and it's just because I care so much and I, I just feel like I care about a lot of people and a lot of things and a lot of animals and a lot of places and everything. Would I be with this girl if she was hateful? No. No. She would not. She would have kicked me to the curb a long time ago. Sometimes she says I don't get angry enough. But I don't like anger. I um, don't like feeling angry. It makes me feel not good in the stomach. Uh, You just explain how I feel about being very compassionate, how it's easy to get upset sometimes. Yeah, it is because you feel things so passionately. And when you feel things so passionately, you know, it's sometimes emotions are hard to deal with. <clears throat> but it's it's not a bad thing um, to be passionate or compassionate or to feel things. I think the whole world needs to feel more and not be ashamed of processing their negative emotions. There shouldn't be shame in, you know, if you feel angry or upset or disappointed. There shouldn't be shame in that because it's a real emotion 
and you have to process it effectively, right? Yeah. And that's something that Angie's trying to teach me is to not push down feelings that are not happy if I feel them. Like, if I feel sad or angry or whatever, like, own it, feel it. Don't push it away. They're valid emotions. So, but it's, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really get that angry. I don't feel anger that much. I feel frustration. I do feel frustration. And you do express it, especially if someone touches on something that hits you in all the feels. Like if they say something negative about the dog, that's one of them. If they say something negative about um, queer, trans, or homosexual people, or if they say anything about your family. um, Or you. Or me. Or Katie. Or Katy Perry. Those are the hard-hitting ones for Haley, where she does speak up and, (laughs) you know, she gets angry. But, yeah, it's emotions. All of them are valid. And you should, there's no shame in feeling what you feel because... If you feel it, there's obviously truth to it. So don't be afraid to speak out and speak up and express yourself. Thank you, Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. Love you, girl. We miss you. We miss you. Can't wait to hang out with you again. I know. So Haley was mentioned, she was like, oh, what date is it? And then I said the 22nd. It is the 22nd. It's also the feast day of St. Rita of Kaskia. If you're Catholic or not, um, St. Rita was pretty awesome. She was an Italian widow, an Augustinian nun, venerated as a saint in the Roman Catholic Church. I'm reading from Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, sure. um, after Rita's husband died, she joined an Augustinian community of re- religious sisters where she was known Wait, I don't, wait, 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 wait. I'm just going to summarize this. So anyway, she was this really cool nun. She had a a really mean husband and had kids by him, and the husband died, um, and then she became a nun. But she's the patron saint of impossible situations and of abuse, um, among other things. And she can intercede for you. She's a powerful, powerful, powerful intercessor. What does intercessor mean? Um, Someone that could kind of give an extra word in for you to God, so to speak. That's like a really... Vague term, like vague. It's a a really easy way of explaining it. Um, if If you're not Catholic and you don't understand why we talk to the saints or venerate the saints, um, they intercede for us. They make our prayers more powerful to give to God. It's just kind of like a, yeah. She's a a saint and she intercedes for us for God. And she is the patron saint of lost and impossible causes, sickness, wounds, marital problems, abuse, and mothers. And her feast day is today, May 22nd. She lived in... uh, She's from Italy. Caschia, Perugia, Umbria, Italy. In the... In the 13 and 1400s. Christy said, isn't it like an angel? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Same idea. Totally. Angels can help you and intercede for you as well. So yeah, it's like the same. So that's pretty cool. Cool, honey. Yeah, Angie watches Mass. May 22nd. Every week, almost every day, you try to watch yeah, Mass. Yeah, ever since they've been putting it on live stream because of the pandemic churches are all online now and so that's pretty cool because I could watch um mass from my home state which I have been doing daily 
just as a personal personal um, meditative daily practice. And Nick Spam. Well, we talk about religion on our on our videos. Sorry. I mean, this is Angie and Haley present. It's not gonna always be about us or pop culture or celebrities. Angie has her own thing that she, you know, finds passion in and interest in, and that's why this is called Angie and Haley present. And sorry. I love you, honey. I love you so much. Yeah, Haley. Haley's right. Um, sorry if we can't please everybody, but yeah, Angie and Haley talk about what Angie and Haley want to. Yeah, um, we're sorry we can't win everybody, but if if you're not into what we're talking about, um, you certainly don't have to watch. Yeah, Angie doesn't push her religious um, journey on me. You know, she that's that's her thing i i join in when i can or you know um can i check a text while i go what? ahead oh, i don't know won't hang up will it okay hold on you guys um she doesn't push her her stuff on me and vice versa we share it with each other but yeah, you we, know, we just like to share our likes and dislikes with yeah. you guys. And if you're not into it, then um, then you don't have to watch. You don't have to watch. And that's all we're gonna say about that. I'm not, I'm not. I mean, I'm personally a very religious and spiritual person, and I'm not. I know what it's like to have Christianity shoved down my throat. I know what that's like. You know, all the homophobic BS and everything that. Um, people that claim to be Christian spout off. I know what it's like, so I'm not the type of person that shoves anything down anyone's throat. But I do like to share my knowledge and my feelings and my passion about it all because it's part of me. It's part of who I am, and I like to share it. You know, I feel like, you know, I share Buddhist quotes too, and I follow Buddha. I believe in all the... the um, spiritual modalities, if you will. I believe in all of it, as long as it's for the greater good, and as long as it's for a higher, a higher good, the greater good, then it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I feel like more people get uptight when I share Christian, Christian things than when I share Buddhist things, which is, I don't know, what Kind of strange. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know Christians have done People, okay, let me rephrase. Bad people have done horrible things in the name of Christianity, but that doesn't mean that true Christianity is bad. Same goes with any other religion, Islam. Buddhism, I don't think anybody's ever done anything bad in the name of Buddhism. As far as my knowledge goes, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm, I just want to say that I'm not here to force anything on anybody. I'm just sharing my... Yeah. Beliefs. It's just like when I share my information about my crystals or my my stones or my photography or my art or anything else. And same with Haley. If she wants to talk about Katy Perry, that's fine. Should I stop now? Haley's no. like No. 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 <laughs> what do you what what do you have to say? I just you know, I get so frustrated and I'm sure a lot of social influencers slash YouTubers feel the same way when people write to us and say, oh, I don't like that you said this, or I don't like that you're talking about that. It's like, okay, then this is, this is us. You don't have to watch. Bye. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying I'm not thankful for you all wanting to one second so so anyhow what I was saying was I appreciate all of you guys that you know like what we're doing like our story 
you know. Um, but if you guys don't like something we're doing, then you don't have to watch. That's all we're saying. Um, you know, it's frustrating because we enjoy what we're talking about. Others enjoy what we're talking about. And if you don't, then why even say it? Just don't watch. That's all, that's all I want to say. So, that's enough um, ranting and raving. Thank you, Christy. Angie's talking to our friend at the door, so that's why she's not at the door right now. So, anyways. Yeah, it helps. All right, all right. What was she saying? Sorry, guys. My neighbor was, she was come going over on and on. Borrow my car. No, she was. I was just telling her about my my toe band aid that I have on my foot. But too. what was she saying about your like? Should we do this now or later? Oh, for the dinner. To she has money for us for the dinner. Oh, okay. We're gonna hang out with our friend uh, with our neighbor tonight <laughs> and have Olive Garden. Yeah, Christy. Exactly. I'm just getting tired of it. I don't know why, but today it just struck a nerve, and I'm like, mm-hmm. well, then goodbye. Like, Adam, it's not 4 o'clock It's yet, not like it? they're being mean, but I don't know. I feel like we have at least one or two people that are trolls and that are definitely messing with us. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the other hand, they're, like, really nice and polite and normal. So it's it's just really weird. So um, yeah, we're trying not to give too much um, focus on it and just do our thing and not care what other people think. Mm-hmm. We're, we're getting there. We just we don't want to leave anybody out. Is what it is. We're yeah, and I'm very focused on reading comments. Angie is not so much into that, but I like to because I like to. You know, acknowledge what people have to say. I mean, that's part of why we're on here is to reach out to people and have people reach out back to us. But obviously, we can't respond to everybody because it gets a little overwhelming. But I try to nonetheless. So... I guess some of our people left. I don't know where everybody went, but Christy's still here. Who else is still here? Yes, exactly, Christy. Oh, the life of having a little dog. And it it can be very good, but also stressful because he can be very needy. If I had known that dachshunds were that needy back 11 years ago when I got Adam, I probably would not have gotten a dog. I love Adam very much, but they're just very needy. So, Christy, you did not scare anyone away. Don't worry. Christy thinks she scared everyone away. Oh no, you're a love, Christy. We're happy you're watching. Christy's the bomb.com. Yeah, she is. You look cute, honey, in your outfit. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. 
I sound like Carol. Why? About the dogs? I can feel her pain. She said I sound like her mom. Small dogs are something else. Everybody says, oh, it's all in how you raise them and discipline them and this and that. No, it's not. They have a mind of their damn own. <laughs> Let me tell you. Huh, Adam? He says, yeah, I do what I want, bitches. <laughs> so was there any other points that we wanted to make before we leave this live? Because we only have two people watching. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who follows us and support us. Thank you so much. And to those we offend just by being ourselves and speaking openly and candidly and honestly. I mean, the, the Haley and I are here to, that's our style. We're, you know, we're raw. We don't mask anything or try to cover anything up for the sake of media presentation. I was going to say for the sake of television, but this isn't television. You know, we're not faking it. This is us. And we want to know, we want to show what real love is in all the different kind of ways. Yeah. So if anybody, if you have a hard time with it, maybe this isn't the channel for you. If you love it, thank you so much and share and like and subscribe and all that fun jazz. Yes, definitely. And um, I always put replays up of these lives on our YouTube channel. So people can watch them later if they want to. So. Thank you, Christy. Thanks, Christy, so much. We love you. We love you all. Thank you, too, Anita, for watching. Let's see what happens here. I think those are our two viewers, Anita and Christy. Adam, you're a good boy. You're such a cute boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you. I tried to do this, but it wouldn't work. What so you that? try it. Make this face. You have to put your head down and get it to shake. What does it say? Make this face, and then it does a face. Why isn't it doing it? It went to you. No, I want it to go back to you. Here. There. You have to do it fast. Why isn't it working? Okay, hold on. It doesn't work. Is it a joke? Maybe it's a trick. No, because Senia did it the other day. For the love. Do you blink? Hold on. Oh, lame sauce. Sad. What are the other ones? Back. Oops. Just a weird filter. Oh, boring. And a bunny. I have the perfect teeth for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. You kind of do, though. Go like this. <laughs> Stop it. I have cute little bunny teeth. No, I don't. Mm. This bunny drinks a lot of coffee and soda. Can you tell? Oh, <laughs> 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 it's a little heart. We're presenting love with our cheeks. And our teeth. Cute little hearts. I always wanted to be a cartoon. A comic book. A comic book. That's a fish eye. Huh? What? What'd you say? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? We have no viewers now. They're all gone. <laughs>
be scared of a wind. <laughs> All right, everyone. All right. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Can you push it up the top? Mm -hmm. Yeah.